Pisces, I am your astrologer, Wonder Girl, taking you to new heights. Here is your monthly forecast for the month of March 2018. Now, before I get started, I just had one announcement. That announcement is that I did do a March 2018 webinar for this month and I do have the recording currently available online. If you are interested in learning more about that, please click the link down below in my description box to go see that. In that webinar, I do talk a lot about, of course, Pisces and about Aries <laughs> because we do have a lot of planets moving through both of those signs this month. I tried to give you the big picture on what those signs mean and on the big trends of what is going on. I see this month being a lot about overcoming the past so that you can move into the future in a new and better way, okay? So if you're interested in learning more about that and about your sign, Pisces, since I talk a lot about you, please, again, click the link below to learn more. All right, now <laughs> for your horoscope. What's going on this month is that we've got a full moon happening right here in Virgo on March 1st. That for you, Pisces, is going to be right here. It's in your opposite sign in your seventh house of partners, and relationships, normally of the one-on-one -on -one variety, a marriage partner, a business partner, or someone that you just feel very close to uh, in some way, okay? And what this is going to bring is either some kind of ending in a relationship or completion in a relationship. Either you may be ending some kind of relationship, to, you know, to do something else, you coming into a new chapter in a relationship, or kind of stepping into something with other people that you've been working on for quite some time happening, okay? The reason why I think you're trying to get your relationships in order, okay, and to figure things out with other people and to partner with other people's in the right way is so that you can focus more here where the new moon will be on the 17th of this month in Pisces, which is your first house. So you're trying to get everything in order with relationships, with the other people in your life that you feel close to, so that at the middle of the month, you can start to do something you want, that you need. Move forward on your personality, on your identity. Move forward on some of your plans, okay, to do things you want to do, all right? And really trying at the beginning of the month to get all of this in order, get your relationships in order so you can focus more on yourself later, okay? Um, if you can do that, if you can get that balance just right and begin to make, you know, tie things up so that you can focus on yourself, I think it is going to help you. Where I think it's going to help you is right here where Saturn and Pluto are with these Pisces planets in a sextile uh, with Capricorn at the beginning of this month. And that for you is going to be your 11th house of your goals, your dreams, and your hopes for the future. So the more space you can give yourself to focus on you, on matters that are important to you and to set yourself up, the best for success here is really going to allow you to see a new life for yourself, envision a new future, dream new dreams, have new goals for your future that are better for you. Uh, maybe it'll also help you to achieve some of these goals. It will also help you too to start to associate perhaps with groups of people who really get you and can really help you do some things that are important to you. You also focusing on yourself here, getting yourself in, in order, especially as you move through the month, is also going to help you here where Jupiter is, um, which is in your um, ninth house of something new and different that you have not done before, with Jupiter making a trine over here to your Pisces planets uh, for the beginning of the month. So not only is you thinking about yourself here, there's trying to think more about yourself, going to help you to envision a new life and to associate with better people. I think it's also going to help you again to do something new, to find more of the passion on your life, to embark on a new journey uh, in some way coming in here, okay? So I do see lots of good things happening for you, Pisces, where you're starting to see a new life for yourself. I've seen tons of new possibilities for your life that you haven't seen before, and to do something that's different and that's more exciting for you coming in, and I think that's what you're trying to work towards. It's just a matter of getting your relationships in order so that you can start to do that. Another area that could be a little bit of a challenge, especially at the beginning of the month, is right here where Mars is in your 10th house of your career your reputation, your social standing, and your life direction, with Mars making a square over here to these Pisces planets and to Chiron coming in. So as you're trying to envision a new life for yourself, do something new, find more of the passion in your life, and work with other people so that you can accomplish it coming in. Now, maybe it's a little bit difficult for you to... Um, 
to have the career that you want, to point your life in the life direction that you want it to go in, to have your reputation and to have your social standing. Maybe that you're starting to see a new life for yourself, doing new things. Maybe then it gets hard for you to have the reputation that you once had, <laughs> uh, to have the career that you once had. Maybe you realize that now your career or your reputation has to change so that you can let some of these new goals and new dreams into your life. And I think that's what becomes the hard part, okay? Now that I'm seeing a new life for myself, how do I not only get other people to allow me to do this new vision, but how do I start to take all this new stuff and point it in a direction that I think is gonna be good for me that's going to help other people see me in the way that I want to be seen and increase your social standing and your social status okay if you can be patient and if you can do your best to work these two together to point your life in the right direction doing something that's more exciting for you new and different that really resonates with you I think it is going to help you hear where Uranus is with Mars um, towards the beginning of this month coming into a trine here uh, with Uranus in your second house of money um, of your confidence and of your gifts and skills and talents <laughs> so anything you can do here to try to point your life in the right direction and increase your social standing with these new goals with these new things that have come to you I think is going to help you here make the money bring more income to you use new gifts skills and talents or use more of the gifts skills and talents that you currently have I think it's also going to help you too to find more stability in your life and yeah and to also be more confident coming in okay um, and you just needing to figure out here how you can point your life in the right direction doing something that you think perhaps is new different better for you all right because it can help you in the end bring more money okay so that's what I see going on while you're trying to work all of that together happening we also do on March 10th have Jupiter going retrograde here in your ninth house of something new so as you're trying to figure out here, not only where you see your life going, envision a new life for yourself, but how you can take these new visions and point them in the right direction so that you can get the money you need, increase your confidence and your social standing. I think you're starting to review something new that it is that you're doing. <laughs> not that you continue to do even more new things, but just that you perhaps take something that you've been working towards, that you've been trying to do that's different. And I think you start to go over it on March 10th with Jupiter retrograde to make sure not just that you're doing something new in life, not just that you're envisioning a new life, but that you're envisioning this new life in the right ways, <laughs> that you're making the changes that are ultimately going to be good for you to put your life in the right direction and that you're smoothing out any rough ends uh, from the past as you've been pushing so hard perhaps to do something new or different in your life recently, all right? So that's what I see happening there. Then after that, on March 17th, we have your new moon here in your first house where you really get to launch out into your new identity to be this new person that it is that you have been working on. As to where at the beginning of the month, you're just kind of thinking about here, who is this person that I'm that I'm starting to become? <laughs> you know, who is this person that I'm stepping into with these new goals and dreams and how can I bring it all together? March 17th at the new moon, you actually start to live it. You start to do it. You start to move forward on that, okay? And after that happens, coming in then all of these planets move from Pisces into Aries and your focus comes here uh, on money <laughs> and what's happening there financially with you okay um, and, and yeah and so I think that's what's going on and I think after the new moon happens after you figured out what's going on with you more or less tried to get yourself you know in order to do something that it is that you want the second half of the month becomes okay well now how can I make money doing that how can I increase my confidence doing this how can I use all my gifts and skills and talents doing something that excites me uh, that can put my life in a better place okay so that's where we're going to start from now <laughs> just wanted to erase the chart to clean it up a little bit here you are Pisces, it's your sun sign, so or moon or rising, so this is your first house. Um, and what we've got, the second half of the month, a lot of planets in Aries here, and your second house of money, focusing a lot on your financial stuff um, and on increasing your confidence. Now the challenge that becomes after the new moon here on the second half of the month uh, then becomes here where Capricorn is. 
which for you is in your 11th house of your goals, your dreams, and your hopes for the future, okay? Um, because Capricorn squares Aries. As to where Pisces, your first house, sextiles Capricorn, Aries, your second house squares it, okay? So maybe at the beginning of the month here, there was a lot of opportunity for you to see a new life for yourself, <laughs> to envision a new future, okay? To envision new possibilities, meet different groups of people. I think the second half of the month, now that you are trying to be more focused, more dedicated, more stable, now that you've envisioned a new life, I think it becomes a little bit harder for you here to point your life in the right direction. Um, because you're getting more um, disciplined, I wanna say at the second half of the month, because you're thinking more about personal matters. You know, How can I make sure that I'm making money? How can I make sure that I've got food on the table? How can I make sure that I am using the gifts and skills and talents that I really have and want? Then it gets a lot harder for you to lift your head up, to look around, to make sure that you're having fun, to make sure that you're socializing with people and to make sure that all this hard work, practical stuff that you're taking care of can get you to the right direction and can put your life in, in the right place that resonates with you and I think that's what you need to figure out at the end of the month here is not only how you can make money use your gifts and skills and talents and feel more confident but how you can keep the ball rolling to make sure that all this stuff that you're doing is ultimately going to get your life in a place that you like and going to help you associate with people that are good for you okay so that's what I see going on there. <laughs> if you can work on that, if you can figure out how to make money, be confident while at the same time chasing some dreams that are good for you, I think it is going to help you in the end. That's because these planets and Aries are then going to trine the North Node which for you is in your sixth house of your job and of your daily routines, okay? So anything you can do here to make money, increase your confidence, use your gifts and talents, and to use them in a way that resonates with you is going to help you here. Have a good job. Have a set of daily routines that you like. Get healthier. Put your life in better order uh, in some way, okay? So I do think there is some positive stuff going on if you can just do your best here to make sure that you're making some progress in the right ways, all right? So that's what I see happening. While that's going on, we also do have Mars entering Capricorn on March 18th in your 11th house. And we have Mercury going retrograde right here on what day is this? Uh, coming in March 24th in your second house of money right at the beginning of Aries So I think that while you're trying to work out some of your goals and dreams and to make sure that you feel confident With this place your life is going in. I think you are going to have help You're going to have help with Mars and Capricorn to really better understand your goals and dreams to make big progress to move forward on something that's important to you and I think you're also going to have help here to rethink your skills rethink your talents rethink how you make money so that you can make sure that you are building something doing something that really can get you to the spot that you want so I think it's all going to be good and, it, and things are going to start to come together in the next few weeks and months. Okay, you could feel a little bit uncomfortable as these planets transition from Pisces uh, through Aries uh, throughout the month coming in, maybe feeling a little bit uncomfortable about how you make money, about some gifts and skills and talents that you have, maybe worried <laughs> that you don't have the gifts, skills, and talents that you need to reach some goals of yours moving forward. Maybe that's what this whole thing is about. You feel like you don't have the talents that you need to put your life in the place that you want to go in. But I think if you remain patient and if you believe in yourself and if you trust and have faith, um, which you are good at, you will in the end feel more comfortable with with where your life is going and it will all come together okay so that's going on and then the last thing i want to mention is the full moon in libra the very last day of the month march 31st happening right here and that for you pisces is your eighth house of changes endings and beginnings and of intimacy so after you've been thinking here for most of the month about yourself and about what you need to bring more stability into your life in some way i think what goes on at the end of the month is you start to finish making some big changes in your life in some way so that you can start to build more of that stability and do more things that are important to you and cultivate more of the money, more of the gifts and skills and talents that it is that you need to reach some big goals and dreams of yours. And I think the end of the month with this full moon is really helping you here to say, okay, if this is what you want, if this is a new vision that you see for yourself and if this is how you wanna make money and some gifts and skills and talents that you need, the full moon is gonna help you to finish making any changes that you need in your, your life so that you really can start to reach some goals and dreams of yours in a much practical and a much more stable kind of way. <laughs> All right, so that's what I see going on there. 
now Pisces, your card <laughs> for the month is, ooh, the eight. It's the eight of wands. I love this card <laughs> because it normally indicates things happening very fast and things being very exciting. And me being a Gemini, I really like that. Um, so I think that's what's going on this month. Lots of things happening very quickly, very fast, very exciting coming in. I see it being good. <coughs> Maybe the challenge then of all of this is how to organize all of this stuff. Maybe there's so much happening. Maybe there's so much all over the place that you need to figure out here. Okay, how do I process everything that's coming in? How do I take all of this feedback and information that I'm getting and put it in the right place? And I think if you can accept all these things that are coming for you to you, and if you can organize them so that they don't get the best of you, I think in the end you're going to have a chance this month to start to step into a new life, reaching new goals that are better for you, that resonate with you that can help you either use more of your gifts and skills and talents or cultivate new ones that you're just gonna be happier with okay <laughs> um so that's what i see going on for you this month pisces thank you so much for watching my horoscope if you like it please like it on youtube subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and i will talk to you later